Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Patrick from Hit The Snake. Today we are going to be looking at the FIFA 19 demo. This is literally pre-season for the Cork series, okay? Hopefully FIFA is going to be out for me next season. I bought the most expensive uh, version just so I could get the uh, three-day early access. So we're just going to have a play and see is it that much different to FIFA 18. Okay, yeah, Champions League match, lovely, group stage, okay. Um, I know he always give out about being be Man United, right? I'm not going to be Man United this time, okay? I'm going to be Juventus, and I'm going to play against... Um, I'm surprised there's actually no Barcelona here. Okay, Paris and Japan, grand job. Here we go. Come on out, Cristiano. That was some bad shooting. Lads, I'm hoping this is good. I really hope this is good. So far, the shooting feels kind of the same. I mean, like, there we go. They're the kind of finishes Mr. Sandcastles does. Oh, right. Into the match. The whole Champions League experience. We are going to have Cork doing this. And in the first season as well. We won't have to qualify Like last season Oh Buffon is playing against his old team as well Lad that's very weird Buffon should have stayed on Juventus I mean like, why didn't they offer him another contract If he's good enough for PSG He's good enough for Juventus Give him one more year Like, It's kind of annoying that he went away Because now I think that Juventus are favourites To win the Champions League in real life Because of Ronaldo I really think he's going to make the difference And the fact that Buffon is just after leaving Hurts all the more. We've always wanted to see Buffon win a Champions League. He better be good knowing this. All the new commentators as well. I don't recognise who it is. They probably said who it is. Jesus, Verratti's very small. He's a tiny man. Danny Alves looks paranoid as crap. Uh, who are the guards watching? The champions. All right, come on, let's get into this. Come on now. Okay, so far it feels the same. Good ball. Go on. Oh, lad. Oh, if that was the first goal I got in FIFA 19, that would have been mental. Because this counts as my first game, like. We need to get a good shot and goal to really test is it the same. Good pass, come on. Oh, please be onside. Miles offside, Dybala. What sort of tattoo does he have? He just has two black lines on his arm. What's that about? The controlling feels a bit different. Um, like when you're trying to hold on to the ball and change your direction and stuff. It feels a tiny bit different. Most of you guys have seen or played this already anyway, like definitely. But uh, I just wanted to experience it for the first time, kind of on camera. I can't seem to turn off the trainer thing either, which is really annoying. I know how to play FIFA, like. Come on, Ronaldo. His first goal for the club. Well, not really. His first goal for the club in real life was the most underwhelming goal I've ever seen in my entire life. I just had to say that. What was the Sassuolo defender doing? He headed the ball down to the ground and then Ronaldo just tapped it in. What was going on? That was a much better first goal. He still looks weird in Juventus kit. It's going to take a while to get used to that. Like, I wonder, will he ever return to Man United? Uh, you like, Ibrahimovic joined United in his late 30s. Um, it would be cool to see Ronaldo do that and then he'd more than likely head off to the MLS uh, for one or two seasons just like Ibra that seems to be what they are all doing even Rooney but um, I'd love to see Ronaldo back at United I think he'd really still do a great job he's so fit like shoot oh yeah that was a little tapper the game feels kind of the same but it's just kind of when you're controlling the ball it feels a bit weird. I have to get used to that. It's just ever so slightly different. 
Oh, what a ball. Let's try a mad shot. Oof. Oh, my God. That would have been a mad goal. A Ronaldo classic. Jeez, the height you getting us. Edit that out, Fitzpatrick. Hey, buddy. Hope the long video isn't fucking annoying you. Okay. Let's have a look who's on the bench. Who can we throw on? Um. Jeez, there's some strong centre backs. I mean, he's 86 and he's on the bench. Why are Man United not buying these one of these players? Like. Um. Actually, lads, our team was pretty, pretty strong. We are going to stick with that, to be truly honest. Definitely favourites to win the Champions League, without a doubt. What a team. The only downfall on their team is Chesney. And, like, that's where Buffon should have been playing. First time in years they're favourites to win the Champions League, like. Ronaldo, come on. Look at that. Ronaldo is just a god in this game. Already we knew that, like. I'm not even impressed. Not even impressed. I'm taking a sip of my water. Forget that. You're not impressing me, Ronaldo. I expected it, like. It does a tidy old finish, though, wasn't it? The ball looks cool. The Champions League is in this game. That is so mental. We're finally going to win the Champions League for real with Cork. Instead of the Champions Cup in FIFA 18. That was annoying. Finish it. What a goal. And he's like a defensive midfielder. 4-0. Now, I know it's on an easy difficulty, but let's just see how many goals we can get. Because this is me just getting used to the game. I also hate that celebration. That was in FIFA last year as well. I really, really hate that celebration so much. An idea I've been thinking as well is, because we won the Champions League twice in FIFA 18, should I add two stars to the Cork Crest for the thumbnail of the new FIFA 19 series? Because... That's what clubs have. When you win a Champions League, you get a star over your crest. Some clubs don't really do it, but a lot of clubs do. And I think it would be cool for Cork, because, I mean, no one expected Cork to win a Champions League, let alone two. So, should I put the stars over the crest for the thumbnail? Comment below and let me know, please. And thank you very much for watching. And while you're down there, baby, don't forget to like the video. Look at Lara looking at you. La, 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 like the video. I just realised as well some of the players, like... They feel taller, and I don't mean like they are. Like, obviously, we saw uh, what's his name? We saw Verratti at the start, who was the smallest man in the world. He was a hobbit. He is a hobbit. Marco Verratti is a hobbit. That was a weird shot. Um, but the players feel quite stretched on the pitch, like they've changed the resolution of the play. Of the, I don't know what I don't know what to explain it. They just feel a little bit tall. Give me the ball now. I'll be the one to score a goal. Oh yeah, we're trying to see how many goals we can score. We should stop messing around. Because this is just an easy difficulty game. So we're not going to really take this one seriously. Just trying it out, baby. What the hell was that? He kicked the ball out. That's Luke Shaw in the cloud ring. Look at that. Lads taking selfies and all. Jesus, what a different world we live in. Like, that would never be in a football game I grew up with. I have very, very fond memories of being young and playing FIFA 99 on the PS1. And on PC, strangely enough. Um, but at Nickelodeon at the time, there was a team called the Renford Rejects. Um, it was like a TV show, but a football team, like a school team. Um, and these losers didn't get into the school team, so they started their own one. And it was the, these were purple kits. It was on Nickelodeon. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. But what you could also do... What a goal! What you could also do was customise teams in FIFA 99. And, like, change their colour kits, change the name of the players. It was, like, the, one of the first games where you could actually change names and make your own teams. But with... Like real licensed teams and stuff like that, which was cool. So I used to make the rent for rejects all the time. Luke Shaw is losing his mind in the crowd, um, and it was a lot of fun. And I have a lot of memories of that. 
There was another game series I used to watch called This Is... Or I used to play. There was another game series I used to play called This Is Football. And I had the 2002 uh, edition when it came out, when I first got my PS2. And I played hundreds, maybe thousands of hours of that. You could dive in the game. If you pressed R2 next to a player, you could dive and the referee could believe you if you did it well enough. But if you did crap, he'd just book you. It was really cool. And me and my friend Ethan, who gave us the 25 million in the Cork series, he uh, and me used to play that all the time. And he used to complain that he was always get the free kicks and the penalties from the diving. And he used to drive him crazy. But then he got me back a couple of years later in FIFA 2005 when everything... What a goal. Every single goal he was get back in 2005. He was kick the ball off my goalkeeper. My goalkeeper would never catch it. He'd palm it back into the running on striker. And then he'd tap it in. And he scored a million goals against me. Like that. So it ended up being even. Lads, this uh, demo is kind of easy. I mean, 6-0. Like, you know, Ronaldo is so overpowered. So bloody overpowered. Well, that is it. That is the end of the demo. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. As I said previously, I am Patrick from Hit the Snake. That's Ronaldo claiming the match ball that I gave him. You can thank me for it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you soon in the Cork career mode in FIFA 19. Goodbye. No one, no one watches now It's the snake Looking at lovely things we have